Hello everyone, how are we? It's Mo. Welcome to today's video. Today I will be doing a full face of all of my luxury favorites. Yes, currently. Yes. <laughs> this was a little hard because I love all of my makeup. Today's video is in collaboration with Angela Denise, the beautiful Angela Denise. She's been on YouTube for about five years. She used to be a freelance makeup artist. She's now a full-time accountant. She loves all things beauty, skincare, hair, you name it, she's got you. And she recently purchased her first home. So she's now getting into that whole lifestyle content over on her channel. I highly suggest you guys go over and check her out, show her some love. And I can't wait to watch her video because I said I'm not gonna watch until, you know, we go live and stuff, you know? I'll have Angela's channel, her video, all her social medias linked down below in the description box. Make sure you go show her some love. And let's go ahead and get started. Come on. Hi again. I'm Mo, which is short for Monique. And here on my channel, we love to play around with all of the pretties, all of the beautiful things in the luxury makeup world. This is our happy place. This is our positive space. And we just love to play around with makeup. So if you're into that stuff, consider subscribing. And if you like today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. All right, so now that all of the formalities are out of the way, I'm gonna zoom you on in, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So all I've done so far is my morning skincare routine, and I have my SPF, which is muy importante. So you're curious as to what my luxury favorites are. So it was hard. You know, but there's some that probably won't surprise many of you, and then there might be some little new splashes here and there. I'm going to start off with primer. And my most used, most loved luxury primer is the Sicily Double Tensior. Pew, pew, pew! <laughs> But she is a favorite with good reason. She's, I'm looking down at my mirror, so forgive me. She is a hydrating gel formula. Okay, if you've never seen it, that's what it looks like. You know, for a hydrating product, it's very lightweight. I highly recommend you apply it with your fingertips, not in the palms, because you don't want any of this good stuff getting absorbed. And this primer, it's like a second skin. It also has skincare, so if you have any redness or fine lines or anything like that, it helps to treat them. It has an oat seed extract, which creates a breathable, comfortable barrier on your skin. And it does a really good job at allowing your makeup to adhere because in just a moment, I'll show you, but it gets really tacky. Oh, it's, it's really good stuff. <laughs> so I just apply about a pump's worth all over and then I let it sit for like a minute to just let it get nice and tacky and then I go to town. This is the primer that I reach for most often and I have tried a ton of primers but just the skincare benefits of it, the way it allows my makeup to wear and the way it feels, just everything's A plus all across the board. <laughs> now I'll see if it's, yeah, I don't know, can you see? It gives a little bit of attack to the skin. Now, before I apply this foundation, I do want to talk to you about something. It was a comment I got in a previous video. This is the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Soft Radiance Foundation SPF of 50. Oh my God. It's like you have to memorize all of that because it's so many. <laughs> Such a long name. Anywho, I got a comment in a recent video regarding this foundation. And it was pretty much about Tom Ford's swatches of this foundation. And I have to agree with what the person commented. They were very frustrated at the fact that this shade, which is 8.7 Golden Almond, was swatched on a darker model. She went on to say that the model was a couple of shades darker than me, and this 
shade in particular was portrayed as it would be darker than it actually is. And I have to agree with that. I don't like that the images of the swatches are portrayed that way because it's not true, it's not realistic. But with all of that said, the entire shade range of this foundation is really good. It has one of the darkest, most beautiful shades I have seen from a high-end brand. And that is to be commended. So yes, I am not happy with the fact that this particular shade was portrayed to be darker than it actually is. I am happy that there is a good shade variety in this line. And this is a very good performing, outstanding, one of the best Tom Ford foundations I've ever tried. And I can proudly say I've tried them all. Rant is over. <laughs> Beautiful packaging. This foundation is a medium to full breathable coverage foundation. I like to go in with a little on my hands. Now this foundation is a three dimensional radiance foundation. It gives a very beautiful, soft glow to the skin. It is fade resistant. It's very moisturizing. Your skin just looks flawless, but still like skin, considering all the coverage you get from it. This foundation is infused with hyaluronic acid. So it helps moisturize the skin in a very light kind of way. Now that I've just kind of sloppily put it all over with my hands, I'm going in with my Juno & Co sponge. This is a microfiber sponge, so it doesn't absorb a lot of product. I'm just going to use this to kind of perfect everything. This foundation does have an SPF of 50 in it. I don't suggest you depend on your foundation solely for your SPF. You definitely want to use your own with your skincare. And if you want like one of the best uh, sunscreen videos, make sure you check out Alicia of Kinky Sweats video. I'll link it. She does an amazing job, you know, just really real world explaining it to you. So if you want more information, I highly suggest you check that video out. Now this foundation applies beautifully with a brush, with your hands, with a sponge. I personally like doing it this way, whereas I kind of just meld it in with my hands, the warmth and everything, and then just perfect it with a sponge because that also gives me lighter coverage. It does build very, very nicely, very beautifully. As you can see, my skin right here, I have some imperfections. I am going to go over and perfect that in just a minute. All right, so I am now going to build a little bit of coverage on just the areas I feel I need it, which is just kind of like right here on my cheeks. And I went in with just like, I want to say half of a pump. And then I will just blend it with my Juno & Co sponge. Now this is the realistic amount of coverage that I wear. I build it where I need it, but I like to keep everything else light. This foundation is absolutely perfect for that. <laughs> Let's move on to concealer now, shall we? Now this concealer may not technically be a concealer, but I digress. <laughs> this is the Chantecaille Les Stylo Camouflage Anti-Fatigue uh, Correction Pen. <laughs> These names. <laughs> this is hydrating. It also blurs imperfections. It comes in a little click with a brush on the tip. It smooths. It brightens. Gives a very natural, real world, realistic type of coverage. It has good staying power and I like the convenience of it because you can blend it out with your finger. It's very, just very easy. Concealer for me is something that regardless of what I have going on, I need it. I need to cover the tiredness. I need to cover the darkness. And this is perfect for that. It's very natural. It's very skin-like and natural. And the brand Shantikai is absolutely amazing. I love, for, I love how natural everything is. You know, vegan, cruelty-free. They, they have really good ingredients in their products. Now, this is just her blended out with my finger. 
it melds into the skin beautifully. And as you can see, it's nice and brightened, it's nice and hydrated. The under eye is the one place you want to keep nice and hydrated. And the brightening effect allows you to look really awake. Ooh, tired mama eyes. Ooh, glam happy mama eyes. <laughs> And just like that, I look like I got a full 10, maybe 12 hours of sleep. <laughs> now for my setting powder, the Biteri Hyaluronic Hydro Powder. Now this it has a hyaluronic formulation to it, which helps maintain your skin's moisture without causing you to look greasy or oily. The formulation on this is very, very silky, and it's so, so lightweight. I put a little in my hand, and this just furthermore warms it up, and it melds into the skin just like no other. What I love about it most is how it sets your makeup without looking cakey, because it's just so finely milled. It does a great job at blurring and filling in fine lines and controlling shine. Your skin just looks smooth and flawless. They do have this powder in colors and a good amount of colors. I have just been using this one forever and I have not ever tried the color ones, but they do have them if you're more so into a colored powder. But here we are set and here we are not set. So for this eye, I won't even pour it in my hand. I think it's more so a habit, but Either way, the powder performs beautifully and looks great. This new Wayne Goss the Artist brush is really nice, especially for your under eye, because look at that. The little point gets right in there. And like right in here. <laughs> and right in these smile lines. Ooh, yeah. Now for the rest of my face, I'm just going in with my powder brush. I'm gonna start in my T-zone right here. And then whatever's left, just lightly set everywhere else. Next up we have liquid contour and yes, liquid. And yes, I did just set my face. And yes, I'm going to use the liquid. This is Charlotte Tilbury's Hollywood Contour Wand. This is in the medium dark shade has this little applicator. This is a very lightweight, easy, almost foolproof kind of product. It blends so beautifully. It's very forgiving. So if you're more so new to using products like this or thought maybe they were too much, this is probably the best product for you. I'm going back in with my sponge. This blends exactly the same on top of powder as it does without a powder. Do you see how, I mean, look, you would think, oh my gosh, you're gonna have a massive contour, right? The formula just blends so beautifully. And if when you blend it out, you feel that that's not enough, you can totally go back in with more and build it up. And it does blend really nicely with your finger as well. So with a brush, with a sponge, you know, however you feel that day, it works really nicely with either options. And you can take it up to being super snatched, super contoured, I mean, chiseled. Or you can keep it nice and natural as, let's say, this. So this next step I have fun with. It's brontouring, where it's a cross between bronzer and contour. This is the... Tom Ford Translucent Finishing Powder. Now this is intended as a finishing powder. What I did was I got the darkest shade. And what I'll do is I'll go in with my Wayne Goss number 11 and just kind of down a little bit. This is a very lightweight formula that is designed to set your makeup, but it's a sheer shine free, as Tom Ford calls it, finish. Now it does also create a soft blur to the skin. I love how soft it is paired with the Charlotte Tilbury. So I get a nice chisel contour brontour 
and it's not too much. It's not too harsh. And now I didn't uh, use the Charlotte Tilbury on my forehead, so I like using this because it is so light. And just get a little color up here. Next up we have highlighter. This is my Tom Ford Skin Illuminating Powder Duo in the shade Moodlight. This is a true classic. I am just grabbing my Wayne Gauss airbrush. Here you are. This is described to capture the two most flattering lights. This soft white shade is like the luminous glow of daylight, while this radiant glow shade down here, it's more like the romantic candlelight. They give the most beautiful glow and they layer so well, and I just like to mix them both, you know. They are described to give a multi-dimensional glow. And you can build it up as much as you want, intensity-wise. And it'll always just look like smooth, beautiful, glowing skin. Now the last step is blush. And I love to do this last because it goes in the middle and it just brings everyone together and just... Just beautiful. One of my favorite blushes is from Syrah Beauty. This is their artistic blush in La Vienne Rose. And this is really designed to be put in a palette, but I just keep it like that. And it builds up so beautifully. All right, let's move on to the eyes, shall we? I'm gonna prime them with my absolute forever favorite. This is no surprise. Yes, I picked up the new Hourglass Veil Eye Primer. Yes, I've been using it a ton, but this is still my favorite. This is the Marc Jacobs Undercover Perfecting Coconut Eye Primer. This primer is crease proof. It's formulated with coconut extract and it locks in your eyeshadow color for up to 12 hours. It does create a very smooth canvas on the lids. I love most that this eyeshadow primer just feels like skincare. It's no fuss, it's not heavy, it's not a whole thing. It feels great. Now, one of the hardest things for me to pick today was eyeshadow. And that was mainly because I love eyeshadow. I love my Marc Jacobs, my Pat McGrath, my Natasha Denona, my Tom Ford eyeshadows, like so, 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 so much. But Ever since I got this particular eyeshadow, wow. <laughs> you ready to know who it is? Charlotte Darling. This is her Luxury Palette in Desert Haze. This is the one that came out with her bronzers, which are amazing. The formula on these shadows is, it's like cashmere. That's how soft they are and they are so pigmented they blend so smoothly and the powders you can tell they're just so finely milled amazing stuff this is a chanel number 12 brush i'm gonna go into this shade right here and i am going to focus this directly in my crease and bring it down on my lid just with this brush i'm giving myself a very light wash of color I always like to go in with less and go from there because it's always harder to take away but much easier to add on. I'm going to go into the lightest shade and put it on the inner portion just a little tiny bit and then a little on the brow bone. All right, I'm going in with a Wayne Goss number 20. I love this brush, it's so cute. It's like a tiny little blender. I'm gonna go into this darker, warmer brown. And we are gonna focus that on the outer V and bring it in the crease just a little bit. We're gonna go into the darkest, darkest shade and do just a little tiny bit on the outer V. And then with no product, I'll go back in with our first brush and just blend everything. Make everything soft and blended beautifully. 
I'm going in with this shade on a pencil brush on my lower lash line. Her formula is absolutely amazing. Yes, darlings. <laughs> so I went ahead and applied one of my absolute favorite eyeliners. It's the Pat McGrath Perma Precision Ultra Glide Eye Pencil. This one is in the shade Black Coffee. It is the most beautiful, most creamy, dark, rich brown. This is a gel pencil and it gives a beautiful glide and it lasts and it just wears so, so, so well. Is you can apply it, let's say, as a liner on top and you, you will have time to kind of smudge it out and once it sets, you're golden. It's not going anywhere. Now I do want to go ahead and do a very small, very baby little wing for this eye look. So I'm going to be using my Tom Ford Definer Pen. This is a dual-ended liner. You have one end that has a very fine calligraphy type tip to it. Definitely have your options and like today we're going to do a baby wing but this does a great job at doing like a super dramatic wing or whatever you like. This is so easy to work with and I have to tell you I think this is probably one of my longest lasting and this is no shade to any other product but this liquid liner it's lasted me for the longest out of all of my liquid liners. And here are our little cute baby wings. <laughs> all right, let's move on to some mascara, which, you know, really helps pull the whole look together, is the Gucci La Obscure Mascara. This formulation, it's described as fully customizable. You can build it up, you can get super dramatic, you can take it to the point of those spider lashes, or you can keep it soft and just do a little coat to lift and curl. Now it has a brush that's designed to catch all your little hairs from the inner corner to the outer to the middle and it's so good on the lower lash line. Now they do claim that she can wear for up to 12 hours. I don't believe I've tested that so I can't speak on it but it wears beautifully. So there we are with two coats. I am going to go ahead and put one coat on the lower lash line. This is how this mascara makes me feel when I'm all done. It feels like, hello. <laughs> For today's lip product, we're going in with the beautiful Clé de Peau Liquid Lipstick. So the proper name is the Clé de Peau Radiant Liquid Rouge Shine. They have this in a matte formula and they have it in this formula, which is the more glossy formula. I feel like you could describe this product as a dewy lip color that literally just melts into your lips. And the color pigmentation is is amazing. This is in the color Birds of Paradise. Very moisturizing, very long lasting, very lightweight, and the applicator is pretty cool too. Love the shine that it gives and the color. I most always will go for a nude, but whenever I want a pop of color that's comfortable, that I can wear without any fuss, I will reach for this. Another great alternative within this whole bold kind of color story is the Gucci Agatha Orange. What a beautiful lipstick, what a beautiful formula. I didn't pick that one because it is more on the newer side, but if I had, if I didn't have this, that would be what I would wear today. <laughs> and what's pretty nice is once the shine kind of fades away, you're left with just a little beautiful bit of a stain kind of like the Chantecaille bombs that you can build them up in intensity, but once they kind of fade away, you are left with a little stain on the lips, which is just so beautiful. And here we are, my full face, using all of my luxury favorites. I have to say it again. I absolutely love all of my makeup. I love all of my nude lipsticks that may look the same, but they're all different. I love all of my red lipsticks that look the same, but they're all different. And I love all of my eyeshadows that I don't need. This is a realistic look that I would wear any day of the week for any occasion. I might change a thing here or there, lipstick, wing liner, may not use the bronzer, may just use a bronzer. But for the most part, these are the products that I consistently reach for at the moment because you know there's always new stuff coming out that I'm gonna want to try but 
you know, a lot of these products I'm sure you've seen around for a while here on my channel, and it's nice to group them all together so that you can see, you know what, I'd love to hear what some of your absolute favorite luxury products that you could not live without. Comment them down below. I want to give a big thank you to Angela Denise for collaborating with me on this video. I'm excited to go watch her video and see her full face of all of her luxury products. And I hope you go and check out her channel too. Again, all of her social medias and video and channel, all that fun detail stuff will be linked down in my description box. Make sure you head over to her channel, show her some love. And let's keep lifting each other up, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me today, guys. Don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Stay healthy, stay strong, and stay beautiful. I'll see you soon. Bye.